Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for January 29th of 2022. Well, it is titled the Fornax cluster of galaxies. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image of part of a galaxy cluster. Now galaxies tend to group together. So we don't tend to find isolated galaxies, we tend to find them in clusters. And then the clusters group into super clusters, which eventually group into great filaments stretching across large portions of the universe. Now here we are looking at one of the nearer clusters and about 60 million light years away. And as we've talked about, when we see something 60 million light years away, we see it not as it is today, but as it was 60 million years ago. So it has taken that long for the light to travel from these galaxies to us. Now galaxies in general don't change a whole lot in just 60 million years. They have lifespans measured in many billions of years. So they likely have not changed significantly. But there probably have been some slight changes and probably have been a number of supernovae that have gone off in these galaxies that we simply do not know about yet because the light is still traveling to us. So we will see that when the light gets to us. Now we also see within this image that many of the galaxies, especially those toward the upper left hand side near the central portion of the cluster are elliptical galaxies much redder uh, than the spiral galaxies such as the spiral down towards the lower right. Now elliptical galaxies do tend to dominate the cores of large clusters of galaxies. And we see many of those elliptical galaxies here. They don't have a lot of structure to them. They're relatively plain blobs of stars that have uh, that exist in the central portions of the cluster. And likely that could be due to multiple collisions within the central central regions of the clusters that wipe out any excess gas. So spiral galaxies tend to stick around the edges of the clusters and the elliptical galaxies dominate the interior regions. Now also we see a number of stars in this image and you can see distinguish them from galaxies by the diffraction patterns the cross pattern going through them. So that signifies that the object is a point source that it was just a point of light or a star. So anything without that diffraction pattern is actually a galaxy here. So when we look at many of these brighter objects, we can see that the vast majority of them are galaxies. Although we do see a number of stars within our own galaxy scattered around that just happen to be located in this same direction on the sky as well. So that was our picture of the day for January 29th of 2022. It was titled the Fornax cluster of galaxies. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture preview to be miasma of plasma. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.